Hello and welcome to What Do I Have To Do? And today I'm going to be talking about the BMW E35 M5. Now if you're not too sure what that is, basically in the early 90s BMW designed an E34 M5 in a convertible form, which is what you see behind me here. And there's been a lot of speculation about this car in the late 90s. Many people think it was photoshopped. BMW didn't acknowledge its existence till many years later. I always believed it was um, made because I do know of a BMW, uh, a secret basement garage where all their little projects and mad machines live and rest. So I always believed it was an E34 M5 convertible. It was official to in about 2011, I think it was, in a BMW magazine and they opened the garage up to journalists and there was loads of uh, crazy stuff there as well. I was interested in the E34 M5, I call it an E34 M5 even though it's an E35 M5 but it's, it's got an E34 front end and it looks like an E34. They did have in the garage also an M8 as well, which was um, a nice bit of kit, loads of carbon fiber goods on that. But back to the E35, people say that it was had a slot at the motor show in '89. Um, there's a picture of said car with turbine wheels on. There's another picture with another car and a different registration with throwing stars. There's another one that's been road tested recently but I found some pictures of which I'll post here and that looks like a dark blue the one in the museum is looks like looks like techno violet and that's a nice one in the um, secret garage at BMW the one in the original pictures look really really dark people say there's only one made but I'll call bluff on that because if there's only one made and BMW had a slot for it at the motor show and we were going to put it into production but they needed to have made more for crash tests and all that stuff so I think there was a few made and look at the pictures what I'm flicking through here you can see that for yourself um, there's three images on the internet of a convertible f 4 and 5 all in different colours different wheels, one had turbine wheels on one had throwing star wheels on there's a really, really early photo of one and it's got different seats in. So it's an interesting um, thing to talk about for me. If you've got anything to add, add it to my comments down below. I think the main press car that we used is in the BMW Museum. Because if you look at some of the pictures, the first picture of the museum pictures, the back seat belts look identical, the same. So yeah, another thing we were going to, some people said that it was never meant to go on production because it had um, a weak chassis for um, a convertible and it needed chef chassis st strengthening. There is some pictures with um, chassis strengtheners on, on the test drive pictures. This is like modern test drive pictures. There's some pictures of a car without strengtheners on, I don't know if that's because it's a failed shoot car or how that works. But like I said, I thought this was an interesting topic to talk about in my video. It always stays um, a conversational, especially with the people who think there was only one made, some people think it was ten made, some people back then thought that it was just a photoshop and BMW did leak it and showed it to the world. It had an early M4 engine, an early 34 M4 engine. The seats are modelled like the ones in the 8 series with the seat belts here. It's a really neat car. Do you think BMW is right not releasing it? Um, probably, because that might have hurt the M3 sales, convertible M3 sales. But then again, it might have opened up um, a niche market for bigger um, convertible cars. We'd never know. Um, I'm looking like I said, looking early today. There is some modern pictures of a car on a test drive, 
and that's got chassis strengthening on again. So I ain't too sure, but I know it exists. I know I'm 100% sure there's more than one in existence. I'm 100% sure. Please let me know what you think down below. This is one of my ran rambling videos. The weather's horrible outside, so I called them much. So I thought I'd sit in front of a camera and ramble for a bit about the BMW E35 M5 convertible. Please leave your feedback below. What you believe, what you think, if you know more about this this um, E35 M5 than I do, let me know. And if you like this video or any of other videos, please like, subscribe, and comment. But until next time, bye bye.